If you're going to spend on this game, spend responsibly. Use the Aptoid App Store. It's got all the best in-game purchases. They fight for market share with Apple and Google. That's why they offer these discounts. Use promo code MUSH5 and information of how to download this is in the description to the video as well as in the Discord. Hey everyone, welcome back to Legend of Mushroom with Genghis. So a few days ago in our question and answer, as part of it, I wanted to build a profit. So took some advice from all the people. There was a guy in there, Maji, who is a professional mage. He's been suffering through it since day one. And we built a mage. And I have a pretty big account. I have, you know, seven pink souls. I'm on like day 60, maybe day 55, something like that. And you can see the build here. And we basically built it. And I've been playing with it for about a week. I wanted to give you guys some feedback, tell you my thoughts on it, skills I've been going with. So I've actually found like this is kind of one of the best combinations I could get. I know you wouldn't think so, but Blade Pierce has worked very well for me i have changed some of these at times depending on who i'm fighting sometimes i'll add 100 slashes sometimes i'll add crimson moon uh once in a while if i'm really close to killing something i will add grim reaper so that the final shot will get in with for less than five percent and get an auto kill so i'm playing around i'm moving lots of stuff these are generally the pals i've been going with uh, have I made any changes to that? I've once in a while taken out Tortoise and added the Crit Bunny, and that's about it. I've really tried to play with Pepe and tried to get him working. I've also put the Lizard in a bit, and Pepe just seems useless like he is for everybody. Um, I'll show you my uh, Class Awakening that I did here. I focused heavily on skill damage and then my artifacts. I... Did uh, also same. I went for a little bit more skill on it, and I've been using the Eye of the Raven and Mount. I've been switching back and forth from uh, the Dragon and the Cloud Rider. So I've been doing everything I can, and I'll tell you what I found out. So basically, what I found out is this is a little bit stronger than uh, Warrior in pve so for example like this like i can move up like one or two more stars using mage and you'll see so this is a 30 second battle and i could kind of get the enemy down this will be like a stage where i can't quite clear maybe i can get it very far down and then i'll play around with the skills and then i'll run out of time i'll just constantly be running out of time with mage because it's not doing enough damage with profit and then I'll play around and maybe I'll add some HP based attacks and I'll finish it off. Um, I'll be able to get like one or two more levels versus warrior on PVE. In terms of PVP, let's go into our rankings and I'll show you. It's kind of weird to watch. So this is like the, f I'd say the fourth best guy on our server. And when I'm warrior, I pretty much whoop him in like five seconds. As mage, I win all the time, but the battle just seems to take a long time. And he beat me. Wow, very good showing. Let's go through that again. That's the first time I've seen him beat me. But it just goes to show you that the mage is a lot weaker than the warrior. And anyways, I will have to, uh, yeah, not liking that at all. Looks like I'm losing again. Oh, there we go. We took him. Okay, so that's generally how those battles go against a lot of guys I used to dominate as warrior. They're longer battles, they're close, but I generally win them. I did lose that one. And then if we go into this one against uh, the guy who's second on server, and I just, I beat him like one out of 10 times as warrior. But as prophet, I have no chance at all. And I'll show you my stats in a minute, but I, I drag out this battle usually. It lasts a little while. Like usually as warrior, I'm about dead and he's about dead. Like right away, we just start dropping each other and we die. Uh, this one, we die a little bit slower. Let's go into my stats to show you what I have. And you can look at them. So stun, 28.3. So I thought that sucked. I was like, that's really low, but it's actually really high. Like when I've been in cross server arenas and looking at other mages, I don't see anyone with that. Like 26, 24 was like the highest I saw on anybody else. Looking at all this other stuff here, uh, skills, you know, they're 
okay compared to other mages out there. But if we look at all my equipment here, almost everything has stun on it. Got a little bit of stun and skill rate, not too many. There's two, three. So everything has uh, stun though. They're all full stun. And 28 seems to be the highest amount. If we go into my wing backs to show you what I have, what I did, I, uh, you know, just went on different wings and tried to get different levels of HP up to help. And then a little bit of skill or a lot of skill damage, as much as you can get in here, but there just unfortunately isn't too much in there. Uh, so basically my advice would be don't use it. I think it sucked. Uh, it hasn't been a good week. It's been a struggle to stay in third place in the arena rankings. Like, I can do it, but the problem is the guy who's number two isn't in my alliance, and he will beat me down to try and get his teammates into third. And I can easily counter that just by beating his teammates. But the battles take so long with Mage that I can't actually do it in, like, the final few minutes before showdown the reset of the server. I actually have to start with like 12 minutes left because my battles are taking like 35 to 45 seconds. So uh, my advice would be just don't use it yet. Like it's not viable. If you're, if you want to do better in your trials in the dungeons, just go archer for the a, a day and then go back to warrior. Warrior is clearly the best PVP option in the game. There, I don't think there's any doubt about it. Equally built warrior will defeat equally built anything that's how i've experienced it so far so anyways let me know in the comments if you are able to make a high quality prophet or mage or dark lord uh i don't know i just i don't see it yet i think that they need to come out with something i think they have to make stun stronger uh maybe more healing and just stronger skill damage like i'm just sitting there waiting trying to stay alive and Trying to get my next round of skills off. Let's, uh, I'll show you against another guy here. So you'll see, I'll just be stunning him and holding him. And okay, now I'm not going to do much damage. I'm just waiting for my skills to come again and hoping he doesn't kill me before that time. My shield's going to come up and that'll help me. And my skills are going to drop again and kill him. So that's basically the whole battle. Just trying to get to your second skills. But if the guy's too strong, then you need your third skills. And the maze just doesn't have enough HP to do that. So anyways, like I said, let me know in the comments if you've had a successful build. Let me know what you would change about it. And is it really just only good if you spend a lot of money? But if you're going to spend a lot of money, you could always just play Warrior and be even better. That's my opinion. So like, subscribe, leave a